Hi, welcome to Angel's Pilates. This is a 20 minute mat workout. So if you've done some Pilates classes, join me for this workout. Otherwise, check out my beginner's workout first. Let's get started. So let's come on to all fours. So just place your shoulders above your wrists, your knees underneath your hips, and you want to make sure your spine is nice and long. We're just going to start off with a little bit of a warm up. So tuck your tailbone under, lift your belly right up, tuck your chin and C-shape your spine. Take a breath in, ripple out tailbone leads away, find that long line in the center, then bring your chest through your arms and lift your eyes. Let's go again, rounding the lower back, middle back, and then your upper back. Inhale through the nose, exhale out your mouth, ripple out, find that long neutral spine in the center, then bring your chest through your arms and lift your eyes. Let's go again, rounding the lower back, middle back, and then your upper back. Take a breath in, ripple out, tailbone leads away, find that long line in the center, bring your chest through your arms and lift your eyes. Let's do one more. Lower back, middle back, and then your upper back. Take a breath in, ripple out, and find that long line in the center. Let's tuck our toes, spike your sit bones to the ceiling, and come into a down dog. So ground your heels, spread your fingers, press down firmly through your palms. Now try bringing your chest towards your thighs. Just let your head hang and feel that stretch in the back of your legs, your spine. Inhale. Land your knees just off the mat. You want your spine to be long. Exhale, spike the sit bones to the ceiling and ground your heels. And again, breathing in, shoulders above your wrists, knees just off the mat. Exhale, pressing those hands firmly down and start to feel the stretch. Starting now to engage the abdominals as you lower the knees, navel to spine. Exhale, and up you come. Let's do two more. Breathing in, knees just off the mat. Exhale, reach the sit bones to the ceiling. And again, lower just off the mat. Last one, sit bones to the ceiling. Ground your heels, feel that beautiful stretch. Let's come all the way down and land your knees. Beautiful, take a seat. So I'd like you to bring your Big toes, ankle bones, and your knees together. Here you want a little bit of a lumbar curve, but you want lots of length from your mid back through your upper back. Think of keeping your ribs nice and soft and closed. Drop your shoulders and open your chest. We're gonna to start to engage that deepest layer now. So squeeze your knees together to activate your inner thigh. Inhale, roll back. Go back as far as you can go without letting your feet lift off. Exhale and you're gonna bring your body back to that upright position. And again, breathing in, pull your shoulders away, slide your ribs to your hips. Don't let those feet lift off. Exhale, navel to spine, and lift. Let's go again, breathing in. Shoulders pull away, ribs towards your hips, belly button pulling towards your spine. Exhale, and come back to that seated position. And again, breathing out, relax those shoulders. Belly button towards your spine. Exhale and lift. Now if you're starting to feel this in your lower back, you're not engaging and you've gone too far, so you might just want to come here. Otherwise you're going all the way down. Exhale and lift. Let's do two more like this. Breathing in, shoulders away, chest open, ribs to hips. Exhale and lift. One more. Breathing in. Chest is open, navel to spine, squeeze those knees together, exhale and lift. Now we're going to shift the focus to the waistline. As the back of the hips touch the mat, I want you to open your arms and spread your hands apart. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the upper back. Let's go to the other side. Breathing out and breathing in. Lengthen through that upper back and again, exhale. Draw your navel to your spine so there's no loading of your back. Lift and lengthen, shoulders relaxed, and again, breathing out. Now let's create a little bit more instability by lifting the leg. So as you roll back, lift the leg that you're twisting towards. Breathing in, lift and lengthen to that mid and upper back, and again, breathing out, spread your hands away from each other. Inhale, lift and lengthen, shoulders down. Slide your ribs to your hips, draw your navel to your spine, and twist. You should feel this through the waist, not through your lower back. Breathing out. 
think of spreading your hands further away let's do two more navel to spine hands press away inhale lift and lengthen last one breathing out twist inhale lift and lengthen and let's just release nose to knees relax your shoulders let's roll up one vertebra at a time popping your head back on top of your neck and drop your shoulders nice big shoulder roll and let's roll all the way down one vertebra at a time so pop your head flat scoot your feet in feet are hip distance apart heels a comfortable distance from your butt now let's just check in with that neutral pelvis pubic bone two hip bones on the same level make sure you're not doing this or that think about your beeline the line running from one hip bone across to the other and think about drawing your navel down and towards your spine relax those shoulders let's lift the knees above the hip bone so this is our tabletop position you'll feel your lower back on the mat but we're still in a neutral pelvis just float your arms above your chest make sure your shoulder blades stay on take a breath in exhale we tap one toe and lift and then we change so now here we're focusing on the lower abdominals make sure that lower back isn't lifting off neck is nice and long chest is open tap and lift let's do four more and lift three draw your navel towards your spine no weight on your toes now we're going to increase the intensity try lowering both legs you'll notice there's a little bit more load on the abdominals now check in with that lower back make sure it's not lifting off just suspend your arms breathing out and in let's do three more and lift two no weight on those toes last one then let's increase the body lever by taking the arms above your head make sure your lower back doesn't lift off one leg tap and lift now you'll notice with your arms above your head you want your lower back to lift off don't let it so draw that navel down and towards your spine four more if it's too much for you just come back to here two last one now let's do both legs lower and lift lower and lift four more breathing out and in two more out and in last one and stay here now lift your head fingertips towards your temples press your elbows back we're going to focus on the waistline take a breath in exhale twist towards your knee inhale land your head back in the center lower back stays on exhale and twist inhale back to the center exhale and twist now you want to think about isolating your upper and lower body so make sure the back of the hips stay on the mat and you're reaching your shoulder towards your knee tuck your chin guys to stay out of your neck because when we twist we tend to use that neck breathing out and in tuck that chin now keep your legs active don't let them flop around like fish breathing out and in release that head in the center let's do two more like this twist and center last one now let's add the legs so we're going to extend the leg and if your neck is good keep your head lifted twist if it's too much land your head back down 45 degrees with the leg otherwise if you're, there's no back strain take it just off the mat out and in keep the form now while we add the legs feeling that work through the waistline breathing out and in navel towards your spine don't let that lower back pop off don't let your belly button pop out press those elbows back keep your chest open breathing out and in relax that head so if your neck's fatiguing guys relax your head on the mat now it's about length as well so can you extend your legs to the other side of the room breathing out and in four more and three elbows back two last one let's add the flow don't lose your form press those elbows back tuck your chin shoulder to the knee extend your legs 
chest is open, neck relaxed, breathe. Keep going, don't allow that lower back to lift off. Adjust your leg height if it is. Four more, three, keep breathing, two. Last one, stay here, bring your fingers to your toes, drop your shoulders, keep breathing and release. Beautiful. Hug your thighs in towards your chest and release. So just pop your feet flat. Longer body lever now. Bring your arms above your head. Make sure you're not doing this. So just suspend your arms. Drop your shoulders. Slide your ribs to your hips. Think about your beeline. Take a breath in. Eye gaze to your thighs. Exhale and roll up to seated position. Extend your legs. Reach for your toes and round your spine. Now we're restacking the vertebrae, shoulders above your ribs, ribs above your hips. Bend your knees, roll your hip bones towards your ribs, navel to spine, and slowly lower. As your arms come over, make sure that lower back's lifting off and you might need to adjust your feet. Breathing in, eye gaze to thighs, exhale and lift up. Lengthen those legs. Now here we're building length. So reach for your toes, spine is rounded, and feel the length in the hamstrings and the spine. Here you want your shoulders above your ribs, ribs above your hips, chest open. Bend your knees. Roll your hips towards your ribs, navel to spine, and slowly lower. One vertebra at a time. So we are articulating the spine. Peel each and every vertebra off as you lift up. Breathe out, reach for those toes. Relax your shoulders. Restack, shoulders down and away, bend your knees. And we roll back down, replacing each and every vertebra on the mat, slow and controlled. Let's do one more like this. Breathing in, exhale and lift. You need to breathe, extend those legs. Reach for your toes, hug an imaginary barrel so your spine is rounded here. And here you want lots of height through the spine. Bend your knees and roll down one vertebra at a time. Now we're going to add on to this exercise. Remember you work at the level that works for you. Breathing in. Exhale and lift. Extend your legs. Reach for your toes. Spine is rounded and let's restack. So now if you feel challenged with your legs bent, your knees bent, stay here. Otherwise try lengthening your legs. Longer body lever. Make sure you're not here. Shoulders above your ribs, ribs above your hips and slowly lower. One vertebra at a time. A little bit more challenging now because the body lever is longer. Make sure that lower back's not lifting off. Breathing in. Exhale. Hug an imaginary barrel and reach for your toes. Restack the vertebra, shoulders above the ribs, ribs above the hips, chest open. Roll your hips towards your ribs, navel towards your spine, chest is open and lower down slowly. Don't let that lower back lift off, breathing in. Exhale, hug that imaginary barrel and reach for your toes. Restack, shoulders down and back. Now think about squeezing your inner thigh, squeezing your buttocks and pressing your heels away. They all will act as an anchor for your, up, your upper body. Breathing in, exhale, hug that imaginary bowel and reach for your toes. Restacking shoulders down and away. Scoop, scoop, scoop the abdominals, navel to spine, chest open. And this is about control and precision. Let's do one more. Breathing in. Exhale, hug that imaginary bowel. So you've only got one spine. We need to look after it. So this is helping you build mobility and strength. Let's lower down slowly. Each and every vertebra connecting to the mat. Arms come over and relax. Beautiful. Bend your knees. Just hug your thighs in towards your chest. And we're gonna come into our shoulder bridge. So working now into the glutes, the back of the legs. So make sure your feet are hip distance. Check in with that neutral pelvis, pubic bone, hip bones on the same level. And place your arms in a low V. Make sure you're not here. Lots of space between your shoulders and your earlobes and your chest is open. Palms towards the ceiling. And we're gonna stay with that articulation. Rolling the hips towards the ribs, navel to spine, squeezing your buttocks and up you come. 
onto the top of the back. Now check in here your body weight. Make sure you can move your head from side to side. If you've got a hypermobile spine, you might be doing that and that's going to load your back. So you want one long line from under the armpit to the hip bone to the knee. Think about your B line. Take a breath in, that line that runs from one hip to the other. Draw your navel away from that line and roll down slowly. One vertebra at a time. Coming back to neutral pelvis, neutral spine. If your shoulders are shifting, just pull them away. Let's go again. Breathing in, roll your hips towards your ribs. Squeeze your buttocks as you lift up. Feeling the work in the glutes on the back of the legs. Take a breath in at the top and then roll down slowly. One vertebra at a time, lower back's going to connect. And then come back to neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Let's go again. Breathing in, roll the hips towards the ribs. Squeeze the buttocks and up you come. Coming onto the top of the back. Inhale at the top. Exhale and roll down slowly. So remember you're connecting each and every vertebra onto the mat. Then land that tailbone, making your way back to neutral pelvis. One more, roll your hips towards your ribs. Squeeze your buttocks, peeling each and every vertebra off, coming onto the top of the back. Now check your body weight here. Make sure your hips are level. And we're gonna not articulate, we're just gonna land the hips just off the mat, float them off, your buttocks off. Exhale and squeeze as you lift. Inhale, just off the mat. Exhale and squeeze. So now you'll start to feel this work a little bit more on the glutes and the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Squeeze at the top, draw your navel to your spine, shoulders relax, breathing out and in. Lift and lower. Let's do four more and lower. Three and lower. Two more. Last one, a little bit of a combo and lower. Land all the way down, hands to temples. You're going to lift your chest and lower down. Breathing out and in. Tuck your chin, ribs to hips, press those elbows back. Two more, upper abdominals working here. One more, lift and lower. We pick up the hips for four. We hover just off the mat. Three, just off the mat. Two, keep your ribs closed. One more, squeeze, we land all the way. We lift the chest for four, press the elbows back. Three, ribs to your hips. Two, last one, and we pick up the hips. We lift and lower. Squeeze, two more, drop your shoulders. Last one, we lift the chest for four, press the elbows back three, ribs to hips, two, last one, last set, let's go, we pick up the hips, we hover just off the mat, lift and lower, two more, squeeze and lower, last one, and it's the chest, lift, press the elbows back, stay out of your neck, tuck your chin, two more, lift, last one, hold it here, extend your arms, drop your shoulders, keep breathing, in through your nose, out through your mouth, and release. Beautiful. Hug your thighs in towards your chest. Just pop your feet flat. Arms come above your body. Make sure that lower back's not lifting. Breathing in, eye gaze to your thighs. Exhale and roll up. Drop your shoulders. Just stay here. Roll your hips towards your ribs, and let's roll down slowly. One vertebra at a time. Arms come over. And again. Breathing in. Exhale and lift. Drop your shoulders, roll your hips towards your ribs, navel towards your spine, and lower down. Now let's challenge more by lifting the feet off. Tabletop, you'll feel your lower back on the mat. Breathe in, exhale, and lift. This is our balance point. Lumbar curve, long upper back. Inhale, draw the navel to the spine. Exhale, bring your knees back above your hips. Watch that lower back, and again, breathing in and lift. Drop your shoulders. Inhale, stay. Exhale, draw your navel to your spine. Knees above your hips. Now remember, land your feet if this is too much. Two more. Drop your shoulders. Keep your ribs closed. Draw your navel to your spine. Watch that back as your arms come over. Last one. Breathing out. Stay here. Chest is open. 
Draw your navel to your spine, bring your knees back above your hips and relax. Hug your thighs in towards your chest, just give yourselves a massage, pressing those lower back muscles into the mat. And then let's change and go in the other direction. Beautiful. Come on up. Well done guys, that was your 20 minute mat workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please send me a message on my website and I hope you'll join me for our next video. Thank you so much. Bye for now.